Hi friends, myself Lipin. Today I'm going to explain about price action trading in Nifty, Bank Nifty and Stock. Still many of them are not aware how we can take an entry based on price action trading. So this is one of the most important technique we can use for our intraday trading. And I will show you also how we have to do the price action trading in Nifty, Bank Nifty and Stock. So entire setting also I will be providing and what are the criteria we have to follow. All those, all those things I will be providing through this video. So watch completely this video. Then only you will be getting a better idea on price action trading. Okay, before going to the topic, if you are seeing first time my channel, kindly subscribe my channel. Also enable the bell icon so that you will be getting notification immediately if I upload any new videos. And the same way, like those who are interested to learn more about market, you can visit my YouTube channel Lipinij and you can see lot of videos related to market. So those who are interested to uh, learn more about intraday or delivery or margin, all those things I have up updated in my YouTube channel. So you can visit my YouTube channel and you can learn more about market. Okay, let us come to the topic. So today I'm going to explain about price action trading in Nifty, Bank Nifty and Stock. So first let us see Bank Nifty. So I have opened Bank Nifty chart here. You can see the Bank Nifty chart. And when we are doing price action trading, like we will be doing for the uh, current day. So if you want to do today, we have to see the previous day high and low. So that is very clear. Like whenever we are going for a price action trading in stock or index, the previous day high we have to mark in advance. Then only we can take an entry. So first thing I will show you like what are the previous day high and low. So that has to be marked. Then only we can take an entry. So here I will remove first, first of all. Okay, today we know like this is 23rd November. Okay, so we are going to trade on today. So for if you want to trade on today, we have to identify the previous day high and low. So now let us go to the previous day. So now we know like this is the 20th November. So 20th November, we have to identify what is the low of bank nifty and what is the high of bank nifty so we can see this was the high of previous day and here it is a low of previous day so we have to mark this okay so for marking this we can go here you can see there is a symbol okay just go to the symbol there so once you go to that symbol you can see there is a horizontal line so just click on the horizontal line then we can mark out like which is a high and which is a low so here you can see this area you can see so just mark that area as previous day high and now we have to identify the low of previous day so here you can see that this is the previous day low so now we are ready with the price action trading like if you want to trade on tomorrow so today evening itself we can identify like what is the high of low of today. So here you can see like what is the high of high and low of today and you have to mark in advance like if you want to trade tomorrow mark it today and be ready for tomorrow like once the market is open immediately we can go and identify where we have to take an entry. So don't go and mark like once the market is open. So every time make it ready in advance like your previous day like after market is closed like 3.30. So after 3.45 or after 5 o'clock also you can go and mark the high and low that same day then next day when your market is open you will be ready and not not regard to waste any time on market on market hours so that is very important so now we can see like 20th high and low we have identified so now the next thing is like when the market is open on today that is 23rd november okay so the first thing is that we have to wait for the market to open once the market is open we can identify whether high is breaking or whether low is breaking so if high is breaking we can go for a CE side and this area you can see like today first candle itself the previous day high is broken so when whenever the high is broken the second thing we have to observe is that is there is, is there is any resistance or support is there so immediately you can see there is a resistance area here so if the resistance is nearby our previous day high then we have to wait until the 
resistance has to break then only we can take an entry if resistance is not breaking we cannot take an entry because resistance is very near here you can see like only around 50 points only the resistance so if you take an entry here definitely you will get a loss so we have to wait until until this line has to cross with two candle with two candle then only we can go for an entry otherwise there is no entry so here immediately if you see the day high has broken and you can see there is a resistance and it has respected the resistance okay so once the resistance is respected what we have to do means we have to wait for the uh, day low to break if the day sorry day high to break if day high is not uh, sustaining and if you feel a red candle is coming here you can see the first red candle itself you can take an entry so you can take a p code so the p you have to identify like in advance like same way like i was telling you the previous day itself you have to identify okay which are the uh, C and P I am going to trade. So if you are trading like 200 range, add 200 uh, to P and to C in your watch list. So not required to waste again time for searching this. Like many of them are asking me which P I have to search, uh, which P I have to trade or which C I have to trade. So this we have to plan in advance. It's like uh, whenever the market is open itself, you have to go and identify whichever the C is coming. Like if you are going for the C side, select uh, 200 or 150 range. Uh, to CE and same way select to PE also. So th this will be very easy for you for your future trading. Now immediately if you see here, this area you can see the first red candle itself you can see there uh, it is breaking the previous day high. It means it is not going to break the previous day high. It is going resistance there and it is going to fall down. So with the second candle like here you can see there is a second candle without touching previous day high so that candle will be our entry and our stop loss will be this area so you can see like uh, just above the previous day high will be our stop loss if, if previous day high is not breaking we can wait until the next next uh, support area so here immediately you can see it is falling down and coming to the next support area so this will be your first target so until this you can wait for the entry so if you have taken an entry here you can wait until this area so this is how you have to take an entry in bank nifty so always we have to see whether the high or low is breaking then if it is immediately breaking the second thing is that you have to see whether there is any support or resistance is there if support or resistance is very near then we have to wait for that to break and until that is breaking you cannot take an entry because it will it might act as resistance or support So this was our first entry like uh, most of them were following the, uh, if you follow properly you will get a lot of entries in uh, nifty and bank nifty and immediately if you see here it is taking support here okay and uh, this area you also like previous day uh, support and resistance also you have to mark so like nifty uh, bank nifty was falling and if you see here exactly you can see the previous day support was acting as today's support so here and like uh, two candle you cannot take an entry that is a major reason like most of them were going and taking an entry by second candle if you take a second candle entry here you can see there is a two candles are formed here but if you see the two candles it is already touched the support so there we don't have any opportunity to, to take an entry so we have to wait until this level has to break or this level has to break the day low has to break then only we can take an entry don't take like haribari don't take an entry so always you have to wait for the best opportunities not like uh, getting uh, getting and taking an entry everywhere like whenever you we whenever we feel it's not like that okay whenever we, we get an opportunity we have to see like previous day support restaurants based on that only we have to take an entry and after that you can see here this area also you can see this is the area you can see okay this is the area you can see uh, bank nifty has fallen down and it has taken support this area so this area also you can take for a CE call here you can see there is almost uh, 100 plus point movement is up and again you can see it is coming down to uh, the support area from the again you can take an entry here see here you can see like again your entry will be this area and this will be your target so the previous day high will be your target so exactly you can see like even my telegram channel also I have mentioned this is the point I have mentioned 29,330 was my point and exactly you can see it came and touched there and till here you can wait and again as i told you if the previous day high is not breaking okay here you can see the previous day high is not breaking and immediately if you see a red candle 
see this red candle okay this third red candle because the first two candles are not getting proper confirmation so the candle should be one side wick okay here you can see the third candle it is clearly mentioning the trend is going to be a downside so with this candle you can see so here also you can take an entry and your target will be as i told you the next support will be your target and your stop loss will be here so based on that we have to identify like where we are going to take so all those things you have to mark in advance like previous day high and low you have to mark in advance and you have to select like which c or which p you are going to trade like based on your risk like if you are uh, feeling like okay i don't want to take 200 range so you can take 100 range also so based on your risk level you have to identify the c and p in advance and keep all those things in watch list so after identifying the support or resistance don't go and search okay which c i have to trade so everything keep in ready in your watch list so that it will be very easy for you to take a trade so this is all about bank nifty so now let us see nifty also today okay now let us see about nifty okay this is about nifty nifty if you see the first candle itself it has broken the day previous day high so if you take here you cannot take an entry here because the first candle itself we can see there is a resistance area so this is a like almost 100 points gap up right so here we cannot take an entry because it's already broken the previous day high also here is a resistance also so we have to wait for an opportunity and if you see entire this area there is no opportunities right so we have to wait for that like some of them have take entry here also by seeing two candles but you have to see always the previous day support so here if you see there is a previous day support exactly you can see that previous day support is acting as today's support so all those things you have to be we have to be very careful like when you are taking an entry on nifty or bank nifty so always you have to see previous day support resistance and the current day support resistance plus you have to see the day high and low so all the all the three things are very important in intraday trading and after that you can see like after it is broken the high this area we can go for a c side so immediately if you see here this area you can see as soon as it's bro is broken the high from here you can see like almost uh, 30 to 40 points moment is up in this area again you can see like it is coming but it is not breaking the it is not breaking the previous day high it means there is a resistance is taking in the previous day high and we can expect like if there is a green candle is coming we can expect for a bullish movement so this is how we have to identify and like most of the people were asking like which c or p i have to trade on nifty and always i will tell you like if you are going for a nifty trading trade like uh, 50 to 80 range okay like if you are going for a c side uh, 50 to 80 range you have to keep in watch list like you can go to your uh, trading application and see like which is which is c and which p is suitable for you add that c and p to your watch list in advance so that you not required to search and identify which c i have to uh, which c i have to trade so everything you have to keep in ready in advance so this is all about nifty and bank nifty so always you have to mark the uh, previous day high and low so if the if the high or low is breaking with a proper candle then we can go for an entry and only thing is that we have to see the resistance if resistance are near we have to wait for that also has to break so these are the major criteria for price action trading and now let us see some of the stock also okay now let us see some of the stock okay here you can see like today hdfc bank sorry hdfc limited you can see so hdfc limited you can see like previous same like as i mentioned you you have to draw the lines here you can see this was the previous day this was the previous day low and this was the high so these two area you have to mark I'll just I'll show you once again how to mark this okay so just first I'll remove okay I have removed the high and low again you have to go to this line horizontal line so this is the area high okay so just mark this area as high and again you have to go to horizontal line here you can see this is the low of previous day so these two things you have to mark in advance like if you are going for equity cash or uh, nifty or bank nifty you have to mark this area so once you mark this area because here you can see this is 20th november so this is the previous day okay so previous day we have to mark and keep like if you want to trade on the next day so like for tomorrow if you want to trade today's high and low you have to mark 
and now we can come to the 23rd number so now here you can see 23rd number if you see here this area you can see like with the second candle itself it has broken the previous tail low so if it is low is broken with the first candle itself you can go for an entry here and here you can see there is a support area right so support is broken and you can see after that after the bigger uh, big candle the second candle was broken the support also so here you can take an entry so this candle will be your entry point so this candle will be your entry point and here you can see like yeah, as soon as that is this will be your target point so this is how you have to take an entry in stock like first thing is that you have to see whether it is breaking the high or low so if the high or low is breaking immediately we can go for a sell side same way let us see so let us see some more stock also so let us see indescent bank today so if you see indescent bank here you can see the first candle itself it has broken the previous day high after that you can see how the movement is going it is moving such a way up and if you see that it is not even coming to the this area because this is the previous day high and this area also you can see this is your entry point okay the previous day resistance has to uh, sorry the current day resistance has to break then only we can take an entry so here if you see this with this candle if you take an entry also you can get, get more than 10 points profit like within 10 to 15 minutes you'll be getting the target so any anyhow like if it is day high or low is breaking within 10 to 15 minutes you'll be getting the target so that is the advantage of price action trading okay now see let us see some more stock also so if you if you draw all those things like in advance it will be very easy like if you use trading view application easily you can search and identify okay which are breaking which or which are breaking low high or which are breaking day low so all those things easily you can identify so here if you see uh, dbs love so because i always mark and keep everything okay so here you can see uh, dbs love if you see here this area so this area itself we can see like the third candle itself we can identify it is breaking the it is breaking the previous day high so we can take an entry there and you can see how much profit is there so almost more than 50 points movement so this was the previous day high and from there if you see almost 50 plus point movement is happened like within uh, 50 minutes here so same way we can see even apollo hospital also so apollo hospital if you see there is no entry because as per the rule you can see here it is going going to the previous day uh, high and it is not breaking there so there is a sell, uh, there is a sell opportunity is there you can see there here also, here also you can see there is a sell opportunity and morning also you can see there is a sell opportunity but only thing is that the support is very near that is the reason we cannot go for a sell opportunity there now let us see Arvind Pharma also let us see this so here also you can see early morning here you can see this area it is broken and it is going up so we will get an entry here so the previous here you can see there is a resistance area the resistance area also is broken then we can go for an entry here okay now let us see some more stock also okay now let us see pedalit industries so pedalit industries also if you see here uh, with the here if you see it is exactly you can see there is a previous day high is broken and from there you can see like almost 13 points movement is happened here so this is how we will be getting an entry we have a lot of opportunities are there we have to make use that opportunity then only we will be getting profit like most of them are telling i am not able to find any opportunities so we have to go and find out like where is opportunities and based on the opportunities we have to trade so this is all about price action trading so mark the previous day high and low and identify the support and resistance so if you find everything is fine then we can go for an entry so there is not required to wait for an entry so if you find any entries we can take an entry immediately and here you can see titan also i will show you titan also last one so titan if you see so this area you can see the previous day high is not breaking and immediately if you see a red candle it means it is going to be a downside and exactly you can see that is that is how it is going to work out so from there to here you'll, you can expect the target also the next support will be your target and your stop loss will be just below 
our previous tech high so after that you can see that after red candle you can see that it is not even going to that level so you will be safe like maximum 10 point if you maintain stop loss also you can get a better profit so if you trade like 50 to 100 shares also your maximum risk will be 1000 to 500 so that is a risk if you take you will be getting like uh, each stock you can make at least 500 or 1000 rupees if you make like you can trade like up to 5, uh, 5 to 10 trades in a day you can make more than uh, 4000 to 5000 rupees in a day so this is very easy technique okay like price action technique is very easy thing and you can make uh, like a lot of money based on this tool so this technique is very important like in your intraday trading so this is all about price action trading and like those who are interested to jo like i will be providing like lot of updates on my telegram channel also i will show you that my telegram channel also like those who are interested to join my telegram channel you can join my telegram channel as well as so you will be getting all the updates there so uh, for that link i will be mentioning in my description okay you can go to my description and you can join my telegram channel so the link i will be mentioning there so you can go there and you can join like daily basis like what is nifty level where we have to take entry or where we have to take entry in bank nifty so all those things i will be providing in my telegram channel so this is a completely free channel okay like those who are interested to join there you can join there the link i will be mentioning in my description and the same way like those who are interested to open an account in angel broking or alice blue you can open the account for that also link i will be mentioning in my description so i hope today's topic is clear and if you need any clarification related to this topic you can comment below this video and send and the same way if you are really satisfied with this topic don't forget to like my video so kindly share subscribe like thanks for watching